also a state senator and a champion for women, Senator Kirk Watson. Well, thank you, Cecile, and thank all of y'all for being here. Isn't it a great day to be in Austin, Texas? And let me tell you, it's going to be a great day to start traveling around the state, having voices heard on these issues. Um, I'm going to speak briefly about the legislatures, the legislators that are on this tour and a part of what it is that we're attempting to do. Because we have a very simple message. When it comes to women's health and women's rights, those in control of the Capitol need to stop, think, and listen to the people of Texas. As Cecile has pointed out, two years ago, those in control of the Capitol cut the women's health program and shut down women's clinics over nothing more than politics. This year, they've ignored tradition and common sense, discarded rules, and shut Texans out of hearings, all of it, again, to reduce women's access to health care. They need to stop and think about what their actions mean for the women of Texas. Senate Democrats, and I have several of them standing behind me, and I'll introduce them here in a minute, have asked for statewide hearings on this issue. Those in control have said, we can't have them. But the people must be heard. Common sense alternatives must be considered. And this conversation must be held outside of the legislative bubble. Women's health and women's rights don't have to be as controversial as those in control have made them. Not one of us likes abortion. That's why Democrats have filed bills that would reduce the number of unplanned pregnancies and abortions in Texas without restricting women's access to health care that they have a constitutional right to receive. Our bills would make sex education programs more effective by making sure they're based on science and that parents know what's being taught. They would strengthen prenatal and early childhood health care and encourage birth control for teenage mothers. They would protect working mothers and ensure that more Texans have reliable insurance. My friend, Senator Davis's filibuster last month. Yeah, let's say that again. filibuster last month was a flashpoint, but our broader effort to stop anti-choice legislation has become a tipping point. Texans are connecting the dots. They see the injustice of bills that jeopardize Texas women, the injustice that leads budget writers to slash women's health funding, the injustice that shut down essential women's clinics to make a political point and let the governor veto a bill that simply ensures a woman can pursue equal pay for equal work under state law. It's the same injustice that afflicts our kids when they sit down in an overcrowded classroom, that wears out working parents who can't find health coverage for themselves or their kids, that rewards corporations with incentives and abatements while shortchanging Texas school children and commuters on our clogged highways. And that plagues our democracy when deals are cut and games are rigged in back rooms that our citizens never see. Texas can do better. Yeah. 